All right, hey, it's me, Ryan. Welcome to the AVL tutorial. We're gonna get started here, um, step by step, how to connect to the loom, how to power the loom on, how to shut it down properly. So let's get started. What we're gonna do is plug the loom in. All I'm gonna do is turn on the power. All right, there we go. So what we'll see here is this panel will light up. So let's go over some of these new features on this K-Series loom. So this loom uses a lighted interface to communicate uh, with the weaver on what stage it's in, how it's connected, where the power is, um, and if you have communication or not. So power light um, is pretty simple. If that's on, you have power. It's only this orange color. The network light, this will be green or red. Um, we'll go over that in a little bit. Com light lets you know if it, communication is established or not. If it's off, it's not. There's no communication. The air will happen if you're weaving and there's an air. This will go on. And the shed. Light will go on when the shed's open while you're weaving. When you first turn on the loom, you see all these lights. Now what we're doing is we're waiting for this to uh, just be the power light and the network light. So a little bit more about the loom. There's three ways to connect. You can connect to the USB cable. Um, you can connect to the local area network or LAN, and we'll be talking more about, about that. Or you can connect via Loom Direct, um, which is directly to the loom's Wi-Fi network. So now that the power and the network light are on, we're ready to establish communication with the loom. So when you're first connecting to the loom, you have to do it with USB. So what we're going to do is plug in the USB cable that's provided into the USB port right here. And then plug the other end in simply to your computer. And to connect to AVL Drive, all you have to do is pull up your favorite browser, internet browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. And when you first connect, you have to type in the IP address. So it's the same for every loom. The IP address is 192.168.7.2. And click Enter. And voila, we're connected to AVL Drive. Our comm light is green, and we have the interface pulled up, and we're actually ready to leave, weave. So if I wanted to, I could turn the loom completely on. So let's go over the stages, the power stages of the loom. So obviously, before you plug the loom in, it's off. As soon as I plug the loom in and these lights come on, we're in standby mode. So right now, you'll see this power button gives you the option to turn the loom completely on. And if I turn this on, which I'll do right now, we're going to go into weaving mode. So all the motors engage, um, the loom's kind of coming to life, and you'll be ready to weave. Um, and it takes a minute or so for this. Um, but just a brief note, when you're in standby mode, that's kind of the, the, the you can leave the loom on in standby mode. Um, it's not going to you know, suck a bunch of power. It doesn't use much power. Um, what you don't want to do is leave it on in weaving mode. Um, there's no real reason to do that. And you definitely don't want to ever just pull power to the loom. So as soon as this loom fires up, you'll hear the, the solenoids fire. Now it's ready to weave. But what I'm going to do is turn off all the components to the loom by powering off the loom right here. And now it shuts everything down. And I'm back to standby mode. So if at any time your um, computer says that it's busy and a computer is already connected to this loom, and this may be for various reasons, you could unplug your USB cable and try and plug it back in. Um, you may be trying to con connect another device, but it's really simple to get past this. It just means that another device may be connected to it or it's confused a bit. And all you have to do is reset this. So you go to the URL and at the end of a the for, after the forward sla slash, just type reset, and then press enter. And then you'll get this, it says reset, current user has been logged out, and then you could re-log in. And simple as that. Now you have control of the loom. Okay, so we're gonna name our loom. So to name your loom, you go to the options tab, and you simply just replace this, whatever's in the loom name, with whatever you want. Um, it has to be a solid piece of text. The loom will come with either blank as a loom name or something generic like AVL. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and name it My Loom. So I'm just going to write My Loom. Um, it has to be a solid piece of text. 
So you can't write space. Um, don't do uh, any spaces like this, like my loom. Um, you could do an underscore or you could do a dash, but let's just name it my loom for now. So I'm gonna hit enter, or just click off the, the box and then go ahead and refresh the page. You'll see the com mic blink on and off right there. And now I can access um, the loom with that, that name. So if I go to the options tab again, you'll see the loom name has changed to my loom. And now what I'm gonna do is use that in, as my URL. So I'm gonna type in http colon forward slash forward slash myloom dot local. And this is in your, in your manual. And now I can access AVL Drive using that URL. Now I can use this for USB, I can use this now for Wi-Fi, um, and it's, I can use it from any device, so it's, it's a really an easy way to connect. So let's go ahead and um, show you how to connect with uh, a Wi-Fi network. So what we're going to do is first connect to your LAN network, and that's your local area network, so through your router. So what you want to do is make sure that your computer is um, connected to your local network. So I'm connected to AVL's AVL Guest, and then we're going to connect the, the loom to that. So we're going to go to Network. Uh, you can scan for all available networks. Basically, this will show you a drop-down list here. Um, so I'm going to find AVL Guest, and I'm going to use the password for that to connect the loom. So I'm going to hit, once I have the password in, I'm going to hit Restart Network. It says, please wait to restart and then reload web page. So I'm going to click OK. So at this point, I can go ahead and unplug my USB cable. Um, the comm light won't immediately turn off. This is going to take a minute or so. So all we have to do is wait a couple minutes and then refresh our web page. And this AVL drive should pull up. Okay, so now I'm connected via Wi-Fi, LAN, so I don't have a USB cable plugged in, and I'm able to um, pull up AVO Drive. So if I exit it out of my, my browser, all I have to do to connect back to the loom is pull up, type in, uh, sorry, I'll type in my loom. I just should remember it, and then now, uh, voila, I have connection to the loom. So now let's connect via um, Loom Direct. Um, we basically, the Loom Direct is made for areas, if you don't have a router, you can still connect wirelessly. Um, so it's not going to be through your LAN network, but the Loom will actually put off its own network. So what we're going to do is really simply go into your network tab, and we're going to trick the Loom into thinking that there's no networks available. So go to your network, or any network for that matter, and <laughs> type into the password anything but the actual password. So I'm just going to type in some random numbers or letters. So I know that's not the correct password, and I'm going to hit Restart Network. So I'm going to hit OK. And then this may take a couple minutes. We're transitioning from being connected by LAN to being connected by the Loom Direct. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. It may not. Uh, pull up anything and might say can't find a network but what we're looking is for this light the network light to turn green when it's red it means it's either LAN so there we got some reconnections so but it's still red so it hasn't changed completely yet right here I don't have a connection it's still searching so this could take a couple minutes but I just wanted to do this in real time so you can see what's normal um, and how long this really takes, and to not worry if it's taking a little longer than normal, or than you think is normal, um, everything's probably going to be okay. So, anyways, since we're killing some time, I hope you guys are excited about connecting to your Loom, and that you've already uh, probably put it together. So, congrats on that. Um, sure, that was fun.
<clears throat> we're still waiting for this light to turn green. As soon as it turns green, we're actually going to be able to go into our list of networks and it will show up as the loom serial number something with the loom serial number it would be probably AVL underscore and then the serial number of your loom so look at now it just turned green what I'm gonna do is refresh and come look in here and there it is I have my loom AVL underscore my loom serial number so I'm gonna do is gonna open this up I'm gonna connect to it now, I've already put in the password for this, but it will prompt you with a password, and it will always be confidabi5, and it's shown in your manual what password to put in. So now, this may take another minute to set up, but what I'm gonna do is wait till I can refresh my browser, but it's gonna be connecting to the Loom Direct, what we call Loom Direct, so directly to the Loom's network. So let's just check on the status of everything. I'm so it says it's connected. I'm gonna even just maybe exit out this and refresh it and just wait for the AVL drive to pull up. <coughs> and like I said with the LAN, if you have the LAN um, network established when you shut down the Loom, it will, pull, it will turn back on in LAN. And the same goes for Loom Direct. If you shut down the Loom when it's in Loom Direct mode, it will turn back on in Loom Direct, and you won't have to go through these steps again. This is just showing how to transition between all these different connection points. And also, at any time, if this something stops working, you can always connect via USB, and it will override any of these efforts to connect to wirelessly and just connect with the USB. So there we go. It took a couple minutes, but now we just had AVL drive pull up. I have my comps established, and we're good for weaving. These lights will be on. Now you could leave it in standby mode all the time if you wanted to. But if you'd like to shut the loom down, it's just like going through a shutdown sequence on a computer. Go to utilities and go to shutdown. And after a few seconds, these lights will turn off. And you'll be ready to disconnect power from the loom. So now you can turn off the power. And that's it.